A former Premier League star, now TV pundit, has come out and said that the top four is very much still on for Arsenal, as Tottenham have Tottenham in them. Hun Min Son has come out and said we can do better, and there is still a long way to go. Reports are stating that the Federal Prosecutor's Office has requested a 16-month ban for Fabio Prafji. Reports are also stating that Manchester United and Spurs to battle it out for West Brom and Jambian goalkeeper Sam Johnson this summer, and could Christian Eriksen return to Spurs this summer? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. In today's episode, I'll be going through all of the latest Tottenham news, all of the rumours and all of the reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. Also hit that like button and that notification bell where YouTube will notify you every single time I upload a new video. If you're listening to this on an audio platform, do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Just before I get into today's video, make sure that you download the OneFootball app for all of the live football scores, results and news. As well as getting all of the latest Spurs news on this channel, you can also see it all here. Download the OneFootball app to keep up to date with everything Tottenham Hotspur. Club news, transfer news, match information, videos, tables and results from all around the world. Don't miss out and please do let me know what you think of this app. Former Premier League midfielder with Arsenal and, of course, uh, TV pundit with Sky Sports, Paul Merson, has spoken out and said that Arsenal still have a chance of finishing in the top four. Uh, he said, I still feel Arsenal are in it because Tottenham still have a Tottenham in them. I don't mean that in a horrible way, but they still have a Tottenham in them. Everyone was going mad about them, but they could have been blown away in the first half against Aston Villa. Villa should have been out of sight and they only have to have one of those weeks in the next seven weeks. Uh, the 4-0 win over Aston Villa covered over the cracks. They did some great stuff, don't get me wrong, but in the first half, Hugo Lloris had to make save after save, so I'm still not convinced by Tottenham. Paul Merson then added the top four is still very much on for Arsenal. Now my thoughts on Paul Merson's comments, i tell you what, every single time I see a comment from him or hear a comment from him on Sky Sports, it does make me laugh and smile because uh, these ex-Arsenal players, they simply cannot bear Tottenham Hotspur being ahead of them and certainly finish in those Champions League spots rather than in a Europa League spot or a Europa Conference League spot, which of course we hope Arsenal will finish in. But when you look over the last few weeks, the, the style of football that Spurs have been playing, uh, you know, extremely comfortable on the ball, scoring many goals. We've scored more goals in the Premier League than any other Premier League team, including Manchester City and Liverpool in the calendar year of 2022. We have been, um, you know, much improved under Antonio Conte. You know, when you think about Spurs earlier on in the season, uh, we have come a long way in these five months since he has been in charge. Now, um, when you look at Arsenal's results and performances in these last few weeks, they have been dismal. Arteta even said it himself. Uh, they were poor in that first half against Brighton. Of course, they lost that game. Before that, they lost 3-0 uh, away at Crystal Palace. I don't think any Arsenal fan expected those performances or those results. And the reason why I feel so confident about Spurs finishing the top four, um, especially above our North London rivals Arsenal, is the fact that, one, we have Antonio Conte. Two, we have you know, some fantastic players at the club. The way that Kuliszewski is playing, the way that Benton Kerr is playing, the way that Hugo Lloris is, uh, is saving shots at the moment, the way that Hunmin Son and Harry Kane are connecting week after week after week. Um, you know, the way that Christian Romero is, is at the back. I could go through the whole of the team. Every single player at the moment is performing. And, you know, who would have thought that, you know, a lot of us fans would have been very, very disappointed by Matt Doherty being out injured for the rest of the season. It is a disappointment because Antonio Conte is getting the best out of every single player at the moment. And that is why I think that we will finish in the top four. Now, Hunmin Son, who of course scored a hat-trick for Spurs um, at the weekend against Aston Villa in our 4-0 win in the Premier League, has come out and said, I know that we can do better. He said, I don't really want to be over the moon. I want to be really cool and calm because there is a lot of games still to play and I know that we can do better. I just don't think that we are there yet because this team deserves so much more. We are working hard and the commitment is just unbelievable. And then talking about the win at Aston Villa, he said, we have another game on Saturday and we start from zero again. Uh, we can enjoy this with our friends, our families, but then we turn up 
um, for training. We need to be ice cold, fresh minds, ready to go again. I'm almost turning 30. This is a reality. As a team, as a player, I want this team to do so much better and so well. So let's enjoy and ready to go again. And after this season, I want to see everyone smiling and everyone proud. Now, my thoughts on Hunmin Son's comments is absolutely right. There is a long way to go. I know that I get excited and I know that a lot of Spurs fans get excited just seeing us in the top four. But the season that we have had, the ups and downs, and there have been a lot of downs, particularly at the start of the season under Nuno Espirito Santo and, of course, under Antonio Conte again. But I feel that we have turned a corner and I feel that we have turned that corner for the, the better. I really, really do. And I just feel that the way that we have been playing in these last few weeks, as I have said already, um, I'm confident that Spurs will get results um, and you know enough results and enough points to finish in that top four spot to be in the Champions League. But of course, Hunmin Son and the rest of his teammates will not be getting carried away. Uh, they have got to see out these seven games first. A report has just been published by the Daily Express and they are stating that Federal Prosecutor's Office requests 16-month ban for Tottenham Hotspur Chief Fabio Prasci. Fabio Prasci arrived at Tottenham in June after leaving Juventus at the end of the 2020-2021 season. It states in the main report that the Italian sports public prosecutor has reportedly requested a 16-month ban for Tottenham's managing director of football, Fabio Prasci, as part of an ongoing investigation into fictitious capital gains. It states that the Spurs chief has found himself caught up in all of this that involves up to 11 clubs and 61 executives. The trial has placed a total of 62 operations under the microscope from the last three campaigns, uh, ranging from the 2018-19 season all the way through to last season. It then states a number of Italy's top clubs have found themselves in potential hot water. All of the alleged guilty parties are accused of involvement in inflating transfer fees in order to balance their books. It's claimed the activity was centred around numerous corrupt deals, including player exchanges, with an exterior motive of juggling their own club's finances. At Tuesday morning's trial that commenced at around 10.30am in Italy, Fabio Prasci found himself facing the potential threat of a ban, and this is according to Italian journalist Gianluca Damasio. The Federal Prosecutor's Office is understood to have requested a 16-month and a 10-day ban for Fabio Prasci, which would undoubtedly affect his current position with Spurs if found guilty. A report has just been published by Sky Sports all about West Bromwich Albion goalkeeper Sam Johnston and the Sky Sports report states that Manchester United and Tottenham will battle it out for the signature of Sam Johnston in the summer after the England goalkeeper allows his West Bromwich Albion contract to run its course. Johnston, who's won three senior caps for England, is keen to get back in the Premier League and has refused the offer of a new deal at the Hawthorns. A number of other clubs, including Southampton, are also thought to be interested. Steve Bruce admitted at the weekend that he expects Sam Johnson to leave at the end of the season rather than stay and fight for promotion with West Bromwich Albion. Uh, Sam Johnson came through the Manchester United Academy and officials have kept a close eye on his progress since allowing him to leave the club four years ago. Later on in this report, it says that Spurs, meanwhile, were close to a deal for Sam Johnston in January, but decided not to pursue their interest as they prioritise other positions in the squad. Antonio Conte is keen to have more competition for Hugo Lloris, who signed an improved contract in January at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. A report has just been published by the Daily Express all about former Tottenham Hotspur midfielder Christian Eriksen, now of course with Brentford. They are stating Newcastle joined Spurs in race to sign Eriksen with five other teams keen. Christian Eriksen is set to attract plenty of interest this summer. In the main article it says that Newcastle have joined Tottenham as one of the seven clubs interested in signing Eriksen this summer, according to various reports. Christian Eriksen's short-term contract at Brentford expires at the end of the season and the Bees are keen on keeping him in West London. Also in this report it says that 90 men are claiming that Eriksen's former side Tottenham are keen on bringing him back to the club, but it is not clear if he would be welcome a return due to the nature of his departure in 2020. Newcastle are also interested as the Magpies prepare to embark on their first summer window under their new Saudi Arabian owners. Aston Villa, Crystal Palace, Everton, West Ham and Championship leaders Fulham are also uh, being credited with interest in the 30-year-old. 
Now, my thoughts on Ericsson possibly coming back to Spurs, I would love to see it happen. I know a lot of people who watch this channel and, uh, of course, listen to this channel on the podcast, um, I know that they don't agree. Um, but it's my opinion at the end of the day. Um, I would love to see Ericsson back because I just think that he has got so much more to offer um, in the Premier League. We have seen that since his uh, fairy tale uh, return to the Premier League with Brentford, he has been absolutely sensational. Um, he's been scoring, he's been assisting um, the balls that he has been playing to you know, various teammates. He has been absolutely incredible and uh, you know, the results that Brentford have had in the last few weeks have been amazing. Italian journalist Fabrizio Romano has come out and said that Memphis Depay is not a priority for Tottenham Hotspur right now, but the relationship between Spurs and Spanish club Barcelona is very good. He also stated, keep an eye on Spurs and Barcelona in the summer because there could be some possible deals to discuss together. Now, there will be six Premier League games taking place this coming weekend. Four on Saturday, two on Sunday. The four games on Saturday, Tottenham Hotspur will take on Brighton, 12.30pm kickoff. Manchester United will host Norwich City at Old Trafford. Southampton against our North London rivals, Arsenal. And Watford will play Brentford. The two games on Sunday will be as follows. Newcastle United against Leicester and West Ham will host Burnley. And as if you need reminding, Tottenham Hotspur are currently in the top four. We have seven games to go. We have played 31. We have won 18. We have drawn three and lost 10. We have a goal difference of plus 19. We have 57 points. We are three points clear of our North London rivals, Arsenal, who do have a game in hand. We are six points clear of both West Ham and Manchester United, who both have 51 points, respectively. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. Also hit that like button and that notification bell where YouTube will notify you every single time I upload a new video. If you're listening to this on an audio platform, do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. And I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe and well. Come on, you Spurs. Hi, I'm Bill from Football Prizes. I'm just here to tell you about the weekly prizes that we run on the site. Prizes such as our signed memorabilia, match day tickets, trips abroad and more. Just go to our website, www.footballprizes.co.uk.